This is AP Calculus ABA, Unit 6, More Derivatives, Lesson 5, Derivatives of Inverse Trigonometric Functions. Our objectives today are to find derivatives of invertible functions and their inverses, and to find derivatives of functions involving inverse trigonometric functions. I'm going to deal with the second, uh, and in the process, deal with the first. Okay, so the inverse trig functions are arc, sine, arc, cosine, arc, tangent, arc, cosecant, and so forth and so on. Uh, so let's let's take a look at a, at a function here. Let's say y equals y equals arc sine of x. Okay. And the secret to this lies in the fact that we can rewrite this inverse function in another way. We can write this relationship this way. We can say that x equals sine y. Or I'm going to write it actually sine y equals x. You can arrive at that by the definition of inverse sine. Or you can just simply take the sine of both sides and the sine of the inverse sine is x. Okay. And then the trick is to, to implicitly differentiate both sides. Derivative of sine is cosine. Chain rule says y is a function of x, so multiply by y prime. Derivative of x is 1. Okay. Now it would be fine and dandy if that's all we needed to do, but we need to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So we're going to solve for y by dividing by cosine, solve for y prime, divided by cosine. So 1 over cosine y okay, is y prime. Now here's where a little bit of, of uh, substitution happens, right? Uh, we have the cosine of y, and what does y equals? Well, y equals arc sine x, as we looked at it, look at it, the original problem. y and inverse sine or arc sine of x is the same thing as y. y is the same as inverse, cos, inverse sine x. So let's do a little substitution for y. So y prime equals 1 over cosine of arc sine of x. Now we get into an area in which you actually have had some experience in your pre-calculus class. And that is finding a trig function of a inverse trig function. Okay. And the trick is to construct or sketch a right triangle. And we say arc sine of x means the sine of what angle is x. Sine is the height. Over the, over the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of this angle would be x. Sine of this angle we'll call theta is x. Well, let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. So hypotenuse squared minus the leg squared, square root, according to Pythagorean theorem, is the missing side. And now we're going to find the cosine of that angle. Remember, the answer to an arc sine is an angle. And the cosine of that angle, of the angle that produces that sine value, is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, or root 1, x, 1 minus x squared over 1. So y prime equals uh, root 1 minus x squared over 1, under 1. And invert and multiply, we get root 1 minus x squared on the denominator under 1. Okay? And so that's how to find the, uh, sin, the, the derivative of the sine, now uh, the arc sine. Now we don't typically go through that every time we want the derivative of arc sine. We simply memorize it because <laughs> it comes up so frequently. Okay? So the derivative of arc sine is 1 over root 1 minus x squared. But it's important, and you need to do, be able to do this process. Rewrite the inverse trig function as a non-inverse trig function. Implicitly differentiate, substitute, and then use the process of drawing the right, the right triangle uh, to find the trig function of the inverse trig function. It's kind of fun. It's, it's a convoluted process, but it's like I said, it's kind of fun. 
because it's kind of weird. All right, let's try another here. Let's uh, let's do uh, cosecant, inverse cosecant. Okay, so here we go. Actually, inverse secant. So let's do inverse secant. So y equals y equals. Okay, hold on. I have a call coming in. It was nothing. <laughs> All right, as it often is. Okay, so y equals, and let's do inverse secant. Inverse secant x. All right, so let's rewrite this <coughs> as a non-inverse. So secant y equals x. Now the way I look at this, secant, well, let's let's do it, let's just do it straight. So take the derivative, because I could rewrite this as 1 over cosine, and then we could implicitly differentiate that, but I think we'll, we'll do fine just doing this. The derivative of secant is secant tangent, secant y tan y equals 1, oh, dy dx, chain rule, dy dx, or y prime, equals 1. So y prime is equal to 1 over secant y, tangent y. Okay, so let's draw a triangle here. Okay, and let's substitute. y is secant, arc secant x. So let's do our direct substitution. Secant y, which is arc secant, arc secant x tangent y, which is arc secant x. Okay, secant of arc secant is just x. Okay, <coughs> and tangent of arc secant. Now, secant is 1 over cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so secant is, is hypotenuse over adjacent, so x over 1. Pythagorean theorem says the missing side then is root x squared minus 1 squared. Okay, Tangent of that is root x squared minus 1 squared over 1. So root x squared minus 1. And there we have it. So the derivative of C arc secant is 1 over x root x squared minus 1. Okay, I want to do one more. I want to do uh, the tangent and the cotangent are, are kind of a pair as well. If you can do the arc secant, you can do the arc cosecant. If you can do the arc, the arc sine, you can do the arc cosine. Uh, but I want to get at least one of each. So the cotangent and the tangent kind of go together. So let's do the tangent. So let's say y equals arc tangent. Clean that up. Arc tangent of x. So inverse tan y equals x. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. Chain rule, y prime equals 1. So y prime is 1 over secant squared y. Substitute y prime is 1 over secant squared y, which is arc tangent of x, draw a triangle, so tangent of what angle is x, well tangent is opposite over adjacent, so the missing side is 1 squared plus x squared or x squared plus 1 square root, okay, secant of that, secant is 1 over, 1 over cosine, so 1 over root x squared plus 1, okay, so 1 over, let's do it this way here, let's do it over here, 1 over root x squared plus 1, and that's secant squared, let me make sure we got that right, secant is 1 over cosine, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. Okay, good. Hypotenuse over adjacent under 1. 
and actually hold on a second I've got something wrong yeah I got my inverses inverted <laughs> cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse right adjacent over hypotenuse so secant is hypotenuse over adjacent boom 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 hypotenuse over adjacent is just as it is root x squared plus one there we go it's, it's fun to try to keep all that straight and then we square it secant squared so y prime is one over x squared plus one okay all right so you've seen the process again the process is rewrite the inverse function as a non-inverse uh, and then implicit differentiation and then the direct substitu substitution back in for the trig functions we have a process by drawing a right triangle to find the trig function of an inverse trig function and that's kind of fun I enjoy it hopefully you enjoy it too